Welcome to the Minute Masters, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install this Media Hub kit, as it's called, from OBS Interiors. The basic concept is it eliminates your ashtray and gives you this flat space here, which is three inches wide by eight inches, so that you have a place to mount switches for accessories, USB ports. You can even fit probably one of these small gauges there. So let's get started installing one. So to start this off, I'm actually going to remove the ashtray. So using a seven millimeter socket right here, you're going to remove this screw. And there's one right here on this side as well. And let's go underneath. So right underneath your ashtray, if you look under here, there's this screw. You just need to back that one out as well. So once you've got those screws out, you'll want to disconnect the power. So there's that power, the cigarette lighter in there that just comes right off like that. And then there's this probably a ground. All right, got those off. So last thing to disconnect is this little courtesy lamp, you know, to see how much ash you're building up in there at night. So you just reach under here and you can actually just pull. Shh. It's, there's two tabs, you almost pinch them, but you can actually push, it comes right off like that. And then there's a little retainer back there. You just slide the wire out from the one side and this whole thing should come free. One last item to disconnect is this harness back here. You'll just, I've already pried it up, so it should just come right out like that. And then this thing right here, it's just held into place by a piece of metal. So I was struggling a moment ago because this was a little tenacious to get off, but anyway, you just pry off this metal tab on the back side of that harness there, and then there you go. The ashtray is free. So before we run off and prep our media hub, three things I would like for you to do. A, remove the bulb from this courtesy lamp. I don't know what's gonna keep it on from here on out, but I just don't want a light on back behind the media hub. The second thing is connect this connector back. I just don't know what it feeds and it being disconnected could interfere with something else that's behind here. And then the third thing, take this harness and then just zip tie it to something back here so it's not flopping around. That will just keep it nice and neat behind the hub. So to get started installing the hub, you'll actually need to remove your glove box. So you just go like that, pull the tabs out here on the sides and then the whole thing comes right out. And the reason you're doing this is you'll need to access the back side so that you can screw the screws here on the back. Now, before we can just screw this thing on, we have to remove these little clips. So this is a little hard to demonstrate with the camera, but anyway, these clips you reach behind with some pliers and you squeeze them and they'll actually push through. But you have to be very careful. This plastic is just barely holding on. If that's the same with me, it's probably the same with you. So, one more to go. So, just in case you're at your wit's end, trying to remove this little retainer here without breaking this. So, I had to put this set of pliers all the way back there, reach up underneath there to use them, and then your needle nose from the front here to grab it at the same time. So you're pinching in the back there so it'll come through and then you use your needle nose pliers to then pull it through. It's the only way I got this one out. So probably works the same side as well. So they're out, next step. So time to put our media hub in. So I'm just gonna take my pliers back out there. I'm gonna take this, thread it through there. It's gonna pop out down below the dash here. And then we're gonna line this up like so. Now your kit, Media Hub, comes with these screws and essentially you'll just feed them through the back side and they're gonna be really loose uh, in those holes because they're just square. So you'll just kind of get them started and then using a little screwdriver, you're gonna reach behind through the glove box and you'll tighten them on. So I'm gonna get both of these started that and I'll start with this side here okay so I just have to tighten the screws but essentially we're here and that's it guys that's how you install the media hub see ya